bloody corona pandemic has affected billions of lives around the world. Thankfully, things are slowly starting to get back to normal. But things are not as they seem. Because I can tell you one thing. The virus will not go anywhere. So you better be prepared. That's why I say, make your health a priority because you only have this one life. So it's time to change your habits. Dear Toastmasters, dear guests, do you know about the health effects and risk factors of COVID-19? Obesity, diabetes, asthma, heart diseases, and not even to mention mental health. Very serious, very serious. Researchers and scientists are predicting that the mental health effects will be long and deep. As a health coach, I'm super passionate about helping people live a healthier lifestyle. So what better way to convey my message than through social media? Now, my social media presence at this time was not so great. I had a personal Facebook profile, but I posted as consistent as the weather changes. Now, the first thing I did, I cleaned up my profile and created a professional business page. Then I came across Lewis House, a very handsome rock star from the United States who's very, very powerful in the area of motivation and business consultation. And I immediately signed up to his training program for only five bucks, but he looked so handsome. Well, the first power panel session, thousands of people participated. I wanted to make a long lasting impression. So I dressed to impress. And by the way, this guy, in case you're ever thinking of getting a coaching session, charges 10K an hour. Note to myself, crazy goal. Anyways, I made an impression, I engaged with people, and guess what? I got chosen to be coached out of the thousand people, to be coached in front of everyone. I was so excited and so nervous. I took a lot away from the session, but most of all, how to grow my business and how to attract the right audience. In total, there were three key learnings. The first one is be clear on your target audience. And I know I wanna attract busy female professionals and entrepreneurs. Number two, it's all about the right messaging. And number three, just be consistent in whatever you do. Now, my message was very clear. I had this big headline for the session I wanted to roll out. Feel Good Wednesday, your weekly self-care program for a healthy and sexy body, mind, and soul. Now, I've actually held seven of these virtual group workouts, that's what they are, so far, and I had a blast. I had Leonor joining me, we did a very powerful talk on how to do goal setting, and tomorrow I have the most sexy and handsome fitness trainer from New York City joining me to do a 30 minutes hit workout. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to lose some extra weight, get ready for the summer season. If you want to get some extra energy, or if you just want to look at a handsome body training just for you, then you must join me for the session tomorrow. I will pass the link after my speech. Well, I've had a really good time doing all these seven sessions because the most important thing is to have fun, you know? But if you ask me, did I manage to build up a successful social media presence? If I look at the number of followers, I would say no. But if I look at the impact that I've made 
then it's a clear yes. Because my key learnings have been, one, to deliver a valuable and consistent messaging, meaningful, just like we do at Toastmaster. Number two, focus on the quality rather than the quantity. It's not about the numbers of followers, it's about who you are attracting. And number three, be consistent and patient because success is a journey and not a destination, you know? Dear Toastmasters, dear guests, COVID-19 can be a threat or an opportunity. I chose to use it as an opportunity and grow my online business. I learned about the importance of having clarity on your messaging and your audience, of delivering valuable content, focusing on quality rather than quantity, and to be patient. Now you can use these tips to make the best out of whatever life throws at you, my friends. Just listen, always listen to your body. Thank you.